Welcome back to Darkest Fairy. We're supposed to talk to someone, I think. I believe we're speaking to those drakes, actually. Actually, I think it's these guys, specifically. If I remember right, which I might not. <laughs> Stylux sounds. Yeah, I've already heard about this. I already put this together, game. Like, your foreshadowing kind of overflowed into just, like, a complete description of the event. Yeah, I know. I already picked those up. Yeah, I already have the three pieces! I know that. Yeah, I know that. So I'm pretty certain I already have everything next to the scaffolding here. It's already climbed around all everywhere here. Which ones do I have, by the way? Because I was talking about the hilt. I don't have the hilt. I said he dropped the hilt. He dropped the hilt next to the wheel of chance, though. Where's the wheel? It's the wheel up here, I think. No. Where are you, wheel? Here we go. So it, it said he dropped the hilt around the wheel, if I understood that right. Hey! Hi. I caught this guy actually flags down every time. Here we go. Wait. That's not like a hilt of anything. Oh no! It's just a glitchy camera. I don't think it's a glitchy camera, that's just a glitchy character. Yes. I wonder if you could glitch through that rock here. Maybe not. Anyways. So it sounds like the hilt should be somewhere around here, though. Mind if I ask about the hilt, dude? No? You wouldn't think it'd be the, the guy would be at the recruitment center. Hmm? So how does one point I'm missing? Although, I know it makes sense if he dropped the hilt over there and then the other pieces came over here. So I'm not really putting it together in my mind right. But I should have found the hilt on the ground already over here if that was the case that got dropped over here, right? I already found everything in the high up places. I'm tempted to go to the recruitment center to see if the guy there knows anything. That's so low. I just got a little quest at the flower. Hello, fellow loot. I'll speak to these guys a second time, actually. I forgot that everybody has multiple lines of dialogue, usually. The game keeps hey. telling me that he's there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was just thinking, maybe the thief took it, so maybe we have to go to the recruitment center. That's what happened. So that's how the game prevents you from picking up all the pieces before. Hi. Yeah, same thing as before. I wonder if that's how the game keeps you from picking up all the pieces before it's time to turn them in and whatnot. Scorchio, what say you? <laughs> tail armor. It's very highly customized tail armor. Although I guess armor usually is customized. Killer! Why is it so fun for me walk, talking to these guys? Anyways, government center as promised. How much money do we have right now, out of curiosity? 
300. I think that's little enough money. Okay, I'm also kind of hurting. I think 300 is a little enough money, though, to actually go to the soup kitchen, isn't it? How much do you, do you need? How little do you need to go to the soup kitchen on the site? Less than like 2,000 or something like that? Cool, but where's the... Here we go, I didn't see this. Hmm. Hmm. Only one line of dialogue. Hey, dude. Hmm. There's a gallery. Tark. Gutter runner. <laughs> Why would only older people be part of the paper? Whatever. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of cash, man, in all seriousness. Mm. Oh, what? Dude, that's dirt cheap. What's your deal? <laughs> if you're gonna give me, if I'm gonna give this to you, you gotta make it worth my while. Twenty cents, no less. Sure. Really? Like I, I, I've made much easier. Hundred MPs before. What? Why are you so angry at me now? Hmm. Anyways. So now we can... Ah! So the description even tells me. Fair enough. It's a really long description. And it's basically just... A how-to on... Doing all this stuff. What are you doing here? Anyways, which way are we going now? Other way. Get the stuff forged back together. Then we should be good. I do want to get at least a little bit of use out of this sword and shield before I start worrying about the high life with nice metal materials. So I'm going to hold on to these for now. I'm not going to worry about getting cash for anything better or going into also too busy to use punctuation. You, you should probably look the dude in the eye when you're... Oh, here you go. You already had this dialogue. Yeah, like that sword there. I'll wait to worry about getting the cash for it. I'll probably have to use the sword I already have anyways to get cash for it. But then on top of that... I wonder if you can sell anything anywhere. But on top of that, there's going to the arena to get the metal shield, if I understood that right. Oh. I think it would be made a little more brittle having been retempered and whatnot, but okay. For what exactly? A good squire sword, I guess? I guess. Yeah, that's actually a pretty cheap sword, jeez. I already had 300. Until just now. Yeah, we just bring the sword back. So the thing is, I'm still kind of curious about why the unnamed knight isn't somebody we've been thinking about. See, which is the unnamed knight still sitting around wherever? Where was he? I don't quite remember. I think he was towards the inside. Which actually probably would have been around here, right? I think. Was he around here? No, I don't think so. Let's just through there. He's not there anymore anyways, not since I was just there. But, I mean, of course, quite obviously, Tor doesn't know that's Altador if it 
is, which I'm certain. I don't know why or how it wouldn't be. The thing is, Alter is also from another country, so it's kind of weird that he's here. That might also be why this guy's never heard of him. Door. <laughs> I try to read this from far away, he just kind of hunches over. I'm trying to look closely at it, but he can't quite make it out. I think I need glasses, dude. Okay, though. Tavern. That's the wrong way to the tavern. Darn it. Can I cut through the middle? Not really. Everything built around this darn. Eh, kind of. Everything built around this castle. Some of these Neopets, though, some of these species, I have to admit, look really weird anthropomorphized. Loops look fine. And some are already pretty darn human, like Drake's and Y game. I was trying to. I pressed the X button, not the attack button, but sure. That actually brought me closer, anyways. I'll take it. Interestingly. Well, I was up to say, interestingly, he took his sword back out, but it was already out when he fell. I wasn't trying to attack just then. I might need to make a new controller at some point. It's messing with me. But. Neo, when I talk about Neopets, it's not really seeming like it knows what it wants to be. The occasional anthropomorphization of characters is part of the reason I say that. Because it comes up with all these different species that... Oops, with all these different appearances and gimmicks and all that stuff. But then, whenever it wants to have any kind of actual story related to anything or whatever, a lot of the time, it takes an existing species and it changes it for a particular purpose, which for one isn't really necessary I don't think. Like what would stop you from having a sword wielding quadruped or anything like that here? It worked fine for... Yay. For Okami, for instance. Atras wielding a sword was pretty cool. Or just use the anthropomorphic species that already exist. Like this growl right in front of me. They're reasonably anthropomorphic. They're already bipedal. Or the drakes. Or the skeeths. Or the kachiks. Or the... Or the chias. Which aren't very pretty, but still. Or Bruce. Like, they have so, Why do they have so many already so human-like, or at least bipedal species? And then whenever they want, like, established characters, they just take non-bipedal species and make them bipedal. Like Lord Cass, for instance. <gasps> hmm. Jump. Hmm. <laughs> Motohuns. No, oh, he just happens to have the papers. Cool. They went to the castle, jeez. I wonder what would happen if I went back to... Well, I, it says now. I thought it said wow. But I wonder what would happen if I went home now. Hi right, guys, I'm back from my journey. By the way, I've decided to abandon you all for the chance of being a squire. Although, that's kind of weird. I don't really have like a place to live. I don't, I don't live local. I'm going to have to commute to work pretty far each day. Alright, here. Recruitment center. Run, man, run. And then, when I think about lots of the characters in the Apex Thor on top of that, you also have lots of characters that aren't really an established species. Like, I don't think Dr. Sloth is a particular species. No, I'm trying to center the camera, not... There we go. I'll center you. That is kind of nice. You can center him, and you can center the camera. I don't really see what the point of centering him is, because I can just press forwards. I guess it prevents him from moving slightly as he's turning. I don't know. It doesn't really seem necessary to me. <laughs> oh. Oh jeez, I do have to go back home. Hmm. 
Oh jeez. What if they're dead? Probably a legal guardian, I guess. If I want if you're old enough to be a squire, you're probably old enough to live on your own. Well, this will be interesting. So we'll head on home next episode, and I can't promise we're not going to get sidetracked. But we'll begin our journey home next time, and I'll keep in mind the other stuff, too. Need to find this... Delivery of rare flower. Do they want it to be Flipper Tucson in particular? Spider Venom, which I'd have to buy. Maybe. Treasures. That's in the castle. That feels like it's just stealing stuff from the castle. I don't think we've been to Track and Ridge. Have I? There's a moat on that map. I don't know. I don't recognize the place. But why is there a moat? I guess it's a moat store or something. I actually might... Oh, yeah, boy, in Brightvale. I'll take a look at the flower real quick. Wasn't it... The flower is... Yeah, I'll give an update on that. I think the flower is in the... In Shadow Glen, though. We'll see. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we begin our journey home. I might make a quick stop by that cave to see if I can go any further in there, too. That shield might make my life a lot easier in there. Anyways, see you then, everyone.